welcome back. On this video, we go through this guide to the trial edition. Uh, use the trial edition uh, user guide to get some understanding of the user interface in a quick way. Uh, and we will build our trial, uh, the project. So uh, as usual, is uh, I'm starting to uh, expand uh, based on our uh, uh, videos. Uh, so within the trial edition last uh, video, we already introduced uh, the key concepts. Uh, and now we are in the first uh, contact. So uh, we can start to, to actual use uh, of a tool. So let's make this uh, smaller and make the tool bigger. So can stop here. So starting the uh, enterprise architect, so I already uh, opened this. So you should see your tool like this icon. So you just uh, click that in the windows, then it should uh, start. Uh, and then we hope you now uh, with it's not time start days. Along the way, you will make a few choice to help trigger. Note that any decision you make are not final and can be changed by restarting. Enterprise Architect. Some housekeeping during the process of open this trial. So it's not like my parts. You may see uh, this uh, dialogue. This dialogue confirmed that you have started using the trial for the 30 day uh, trial edition. If you are not using trial, uh, you can open like me, uh, but let's uh, practice uh, some uh, the, the this. Uh, tests, uh, tasks uh, within this uh, trial edition. And as shown, the dialog also display a countdown so uh, within this 30 day. And click the redo button for any edition. So you can choose ultimate if you are trial or you use your uh, the formal license. And the main enterprise architecture workspace is here. So I also have this uh, start page in the middle. Uh, but I have this uh, create from pattern in, uh, opened already. <coughs> and I you can switch here, so open project. So this looks uh, are a little different. So it's uh, open, uh, open local project, server connection, cloud. So I have this uh, open file and create new. And I have team, I have reason and the pin. Uh, so I, I don't know so whether this will be the version difference. Uh, mine is the 6.0, 16.0. Here is the 16.1, I believe. Uh, but I, I hope it's, uh, this, uh, there's a not big uh, impact. Uh, and the first step here is uh, very, very important. When enterprise architect starts up, there's uh, no current repository. So like me, is there's nothing. Before you can start modeling and creating diagram, you will need to either open our existing model or create a new one. Uh, so this is our first time. So we don't have any existing one. We can create our new file based file based repository. So we create a repository, then you can experiment play in while. So let's create our new repository. So Press Control N. I see Control N. The, to me, is uh, Control N is not work. Uh, but fine is uh, create new. So let's see if I have here. So this is actually the Control N. Maybe my Control plus N already used by other application. So let's uh, create our product. Uh, project, select a file and the location, you will be prompt to select this. Now, once you have chosen a name and the location, click this. So let's uh, use our repository. So we come to our repository, come to the Sparks. So let's see, trial model, trial repo. We use this one. So we have, uh, where are we? By now, so let's see any 
although not much will appear, click OK. Nay. But they didn't mention which uh, extension. So here is the EA project, shared project, Firebird project, legacy, legacy access. So we use this uh, QAE. So it looks like it's, uh, the legacy is used the EAP extension. Now in my version is a QAE extension. So, but that's uh, not our uh, big issue. Let me save. We have our model, so we finished uh, this part. Uh, let's, uh, at the same time, is, uh, I, as I introduced, is, uh, when I uh, practice on the Archi tool, uh, Archi actually is uh, are the XML-based uh, model, so uh, you can open the Archi file. So let's see what's the Sparks file. So I go to this QAE and the QAE journal. So now, this one is not uh, displayable also. So, uh, so I su uh, suppose this uh, enterprise architect did some uh, the compiling or they hide the content, so they don't allow you to open that directly. So even this, uh, I don't recommend that you open as uh, in the Archi. Uh, are the Archimate model uh, because uh, if you change on the uh, based on the file directly, uh, if you don't familiar with the model structure, uh, you will destroy the model uh, completely. So uh, just for interest. Uh, so uh, next, we will create some new model elements and the diagram before moving on to a brief overview to the user interface. So. First step, now that we have our new model create and load into the workspace, our new goal is to add some content to the model. There are many ways to add content, but for this first sample, we will take a convenient shortcut to add model content using a model pattern. So here, uh, so select a appropriate uh, perspective. So perspective is here. Uh, with the, that's the first step, uh, and model pattern, second step, familiar yourself with the pattern content, add the pattern content to your repository, find the new content in the browser window, and explore any new uh, diagram. So uh, our repository called the trial repo, and now we have a project, and we have our model, uh, the, there's a root folder, we don't have any content here. So let's uh, select, per, uh, starting from the select the perspective. A perspective is our constraint placed on the workspace to only show a limited set of technology. Because if you see here, so there's a lot of the content. And if we show here, so all the content is here. But we can show just the old AML or just to show the software, or if I want to just show the requirements. So here you can see the pattern only show the requirements. So that's, you can keep that old. So like, uh, we can select perspective in a number of ways, but for this walkthrough, we will use the drop down, drop menu in the grid drop menu, create from pattern. Our goal will be create a simple use case that is the UML, uh, the diagram use case model that we can later extend and uh, customize. Once you have found this one, so it's just an open project. Second one is create from pattern. It's the model wizard. Click this uh, three line, then above and uh, select the uh, UML and the OU, uh, UML. After this, is uh, only the UML-related templates will be left. And doing this will cause our model wizard to show all the UML model pattern. So that's also my first question when I open this tool. So I want to see, oh, there's no folder called UML, but actually, 
uh, this is uh, the perspective concept. So uh, UML uh, can be part of many different perspectives, like a sequence diagram, you can have the UML uh, deployment, you have the UML, uh, the modeling work. So that's not our specific uh, folder called the UML. So uh, you need to uh, start to familiar uh, the way uh, of this uh, user interface. Now we have all the UML model pattern uh, and scroll down until you find our use case. So here, so I don't need to scroll down uh, and select the basic use case model, this one. So you can see here, now look at some resemble this uh, model, uh, image, this one. So basic pattern create element and the use case diagram that describe goal that use uh, user role wish to achieve from the system. So we have uh, four actor. We have one system called the uh, system actor role, uh, the called the E. So system one or entity one. So you. Actor A has a two use case, actor B has one use case, so, and the same as the CDE. And here is the legend. Note that the, uh, and we have some discussion, reference. So that gave you a nice uh, background or documentation for this uh, model. Now the right hand has some very useful information. When you have finished reading, click on the create model located in the lower is this one. Uh, and then Enterprise Architect will now create a new model. So you can treat this as the templates. We will create our, our model instance based on these uh, uh, the templates. So now, and not only in the element, but also diagram package required to make a copy of the pattern. So let's uh, make that uh, here. So under model, I have our basic use case, and I have uh, this uh, four people actor and one system actor, and the use case A B C D E, uh, and what stays here is the this uh, group. So what stays. Uh, May. That should be the grouping system one or entity one, and this is the name for this uh, model. Same as uh, here, we have our first model content. Uh, as you can see from this image, there are new contents. So let me. Show oh, this is our diagram. So this diagram is exact the same as the templates. But this is the new content added, include a top level package and the diagram. Double click this uh, diagram. So this icon is the diagram and we'll show you this one. In the diagram, you can see several actor and the use case. If you click on one of the actor, so let's click uh, actor C. Quick link usage, you can use the quick link feature for easy connect the existing element or create and connect the new elements, create a quick link. So that's the quick link. And here is the pop-up menu. So we can log, we can design, collaborate, execute, journal, discuss, find, and what's this? Default oh, here's uh, some um, format doing some appearance. And what we uh, will do here, click this, then press Control T. So what's the Control T? It's a find in browser. So you can let, let me see whether Control T is working. 
oh, I think it's uh, too, my shortcut is not working. Oh, so it's already working. So here, if I click this, Control G, no. But if I use Control G, they will come to this uh, use case A. Uh, but if you use the Archimate tool, so uh, I, I think that that gave you some uh, the ways uh, uh, you can configure that uh, uh, follow. Uh, uh, so if I put in uh, so any diagram, so this just for uh, show you uh, something. So if I click here. You see this one, link to view. That show the same feature on this uh, control G. Uh, but in our case, uh, if I click this, it's already automatically come. I don't need to create, uh, click any control G or shortcut. Uh, but you can disable that. So if you disable that, it will not come to the uh, the browser. So that that is the uh, the same thing we already used in. Uh, in the, this, uh, uh, the other tool. And from here, so I think uh, what was meant to uh, find in diagram, just uh, on this diagram, or maybe here is, uh, if I have uh, more diagrams, uh, uh, they, they will be uh, linked to that. But for now, uh, it's just to find in browser and the uh, content is expand. So that is the thing if I have those uh, not expand. So I put uh, this E and find here, then they will expand and give you uh, this uh, position. There is an underlying model level element. Uh, so in the browser window, underlying model level elements that has a graphic representation in the diagram. Note that you can place our single model element in as many diagrams as you can, and that change the name. And that change the name and nodes and the other element will be reflected immediately in all diagram in which the element has been placed. And I underline. So underline means uh, highlight here, working with property, let's uh, moving on. So here we take a closer look at one of the element and see what kind of information you can add to describe detail what our particular element purpose and behavior can be. Uh, so let's try the property. So start O window <coughs> is this group. So let's see which element. That's just the uh, actor A. Here is the property general and the property. So we select uh, actor A. So you can see here, if I change to actor C, it's like this one. We have some uh, information to show name, actor, proposed version, project. So that is uh, my name. So maybe I can change uh, my name here. So from where I can have the project property. how I can manage my project. Design.
this is the model so if I see here I cannot uh, edit diagram property I want to see whether I can change the project property but for now uh, let's uh, leave that so we have those uh, authors so can I change the author yes so for example this one I change to my name author let me save and I don't see the collaborate here and the toolbox attributes so they just uh, the property uh, for now you can select on the diagram in the browse this is the browse select the diagram and now this is the diagram property if you click on the actor you will see the actor name and the many others if you select a relation let's see the relation so this is the association so all these are just the association so it's kind of the weak uh, the relation uh, within the Archimate uh, standard and they have the source and the target so then you know this is coming from this use case to actor this is from the this from the system actor to use case so that that is kind of a different uh, flavor so I suppose it's uh, uh, all should coming from the people to use case but this uh, number D actor D is the target so uh, let's uh, leave that maybe that's the default in the templates and we can add some nodes on the diagram oh here is the diagram the property now that the, when you select an element in our diagram and then switch to the same element in the browser the property do not change if I select this one then come to here no change as the two visual elements are truly actually represent the same element you can change some element so as I change this uh, uh, the actor C actor A change to some name the notes second very important window to become familiar is the notes window so where is the notes This window is where you will type your description tags about the objects, purpose, and any other relevance. So like the ontology, you have uh, many uh, the notation, uh, annotation that you can add. So here is we use notes. One of the most important notes and the description tags are one of the major determination of how useful your model. Select notes from the star or window not property is the design design oh it's on the create notes okay and notes uh, is coming to here so if i put uh, our short card is control three try to add some notes so let's uh, back to actor a so change to my Okay. Do I need to do save? Save as shortcut. I try to use the control S, but looks like it's, uh, they are saved themselves. Modified. Responsibility window. Another major window you can get is O window property responsibility. Several type on the window select. Uh, from the tab property responsibility and then 
responsibility here on the window select from tab requirements all constraint all scenario or file how to of oh, requirements constraint scenario file so that's the property responsibilities already have those if I select constraint it's already here let's look at uh, each detail first there is a requirements tab so I let me put this uh, here and the property is uh, here so requirements This type lets you add the requirements for an element that represent a responsibility that particular element must satisfy. They are some, sometimes are referred as uh, internal requirements to distinguish them from more general system requirements. Secondly is the constraint. So if I select one, then I can start to add these elements. I suppose it's element by elements or the use case. We can have uh, the requirements for those, constraint, and then the scenario. Display at the window, yes, yeah, user window, basic pass, precondition, invitation. So within the use case A, we have some constraints already. Final is the file, which simply lists any external file that has been associated. So, but how to use that, we, we need to uh, understand. So add new. So many more property, getting help, work with the diagram. So we will have this uh, diagram or the visual representation for the model. So basic skill is uh, we can open our diagram. So we already have this one. So double click the icon, we will open this diagram. Select and uh, move. So we can move that. So that, that is the thing we, we can do the selection. And during this move, uh, we have uh, some, the, I think it's alignment. Layout the ribbon, the third ribbon category is uh, layout here. I have some appearance, there are commands change theme. same option now is this 15.2 uh, so if we want to change that to dark or you can have uh, many if you like is uh, this I think it's 14 it looks uh, more clear so now this one this one so we use the default one first. Editing, add a scenario diagram to use case. Now that we have some familiar with diagram, let's add a new one, build up a simple scenario diagram, indicating the flow of action and the response between an actor and the use case. First, we will need to select a use case in the browser. Let's select the use case A which contain the new sin sequence uh, diagram. Create a new diagram. Click use case A in the browser. 
Now right click on it to display our context menu. Right click and add interactive interaction with a sequence diagram. Give the new diagram a name. This diagram is under use case A, so let's uh, call that the sequence. You should now see have something similar like this. Note that there is our new interaction container. This is the interaction. And that this is the diagram with an empty diagram. This is the diagram. Double click on the sequence diagram icon to make its new default. So it's already opened. Let's uh, close this one. Oh, I can use Control S, then this uh, star is uh, removed. Now you will have a blank one. Click on the double arrow double arrow at the left end of the diagram title here to open the diagram toolbar. OK, that's uh, interesting. Let's, let's uh, remove the, these nodes and uh, property, this one. So we are focusing on the diagramming now. The toolbar changes to show elements that are appropriate to the current diagram. In this case, so this is a context uh, toolbar. It shows elements commonly used in sequence diagram. First, though, we will make use of our model and place a link to the relevant actor onto our diagram. In our original diagram, use case A had a relationship to actor A. From actor A to use case A. So let's find the actor A and drag and drop onto the new diagram. So that is uh, just the basic things. Uh, when in our uh, in the diagram uh, dialog that pop up, select a link, drop as a link as the type, drop as and click OK. Just OK. It's like this. A new visual representation of actor A is now created and placed onto a sequential, sequent diagram as a live line. Next, I add a boundary element to system, a represent the system being modeled and how it will interact with our actor. From toolbar, click the boundary icon, this one. And then click to the right here. Oh, we just uh, click this, and you don't need to. Uh, drag and uh, uh, with your mouse, you just uh, move your mouse is uh, follow your cursor and click use the property window. So now we need uh, our property window. To rename boundary as a system. So if we don't uh, use a property, we can also double click that, rename that to system. That's the same. So that can save some uh, space. You now have a diagram that resembles like this way. You can drag this, I think. Uh, oh, they, this you, you are not able to move uh, up and down. So then that's uh, by default is uh, aligned. We now have an actor and a system, and we want to represent the flow of action and the response between the two entities. So 
we can model this using message between two. Click back on the actor lifeline and look for the quick link. Quick link. This is a small up arrow, the first one, locate. And it's only visible when the element is select. Now click and hold on the quick link button, drag across to the system lifeline and release. So that is uh, make your drawing. This create a new message in our model between actor A and system. Select new message. Select the, the new message on the diagram and uh, note that the property window. If I select that, property window is here. So let's see what the property window show to us. Allow you to add the detail after enter a few information. So let's see here. Sample is uh, enter activation code. And the uh, parameter is a uh, string. So whether this can be truth. No, it's uh, you need to type. And the void synchronous call. So all others are shown. So now you can see here is uh, not saved. I couldn't see where is the save button. Save by shortcut. They don't have the save command. So I have to use Control X. But oh, it's here. So, but not in others. So let, let's see. So that is we already have uh, the two uh, message. Uh, so we have a return message. Then we drag from here and to here. It's a very nice. It's, uh, they have this sequence diagram templates. I like this. Uh, they have uh, changing uh, automatically for you. So shall I move this up? No. If I want to change this, uh, how I can do? So maybe no need. So let's. Uh, you can add it here. Oh, I believe is uh, we can double click. No, it's not uh, open the other window. So uh, let's see. Activation code approved. Oh. These are return value. It's a boolean. So it's approved or not. Show interest, synchronous, face return. So when I choose is return, it's uh, come to the dotted line. I think that means uh, they are the return message to this uh, uh, the request message. S code. So but I don't have this S code, so I don't know where uh, they they put that. Show. To me, is uh, here I show this uh, string. So maybe they are not same. So if I change this, it 
is changed here. So, but I think uh, that this may be the some difference. So, they use the string. Then when I do the save here, string. And this one, we not only have uh, those uh, change, uh, we will also, let me see whether we can add com. Oh. Can I get uh, notes directly here? No, so I need to make the design notes window here. So let me type this. Uh, yeah. So you can just uh, type as uh, was this uh, use, uh, user guide talking. And then we have uh, our this uh, sequence uh, model uh, diagram is uh, showing here. Uh, and if you see our model tree, so we have our sequence, this uh, diagram, we also have our another the system under this uh, sequence. So that, that is the structure for that. And the basic skill building the model, so uh, the design ribbon. So design ribbon is here. We will try more, I believe, uh, later. Group together commands that are useful for create modify model elements. It prior access windows such as property window, feature window, and the responsibility window as well. Take a few moments now, explore different, create a pack. We will now use the design ribbon to perform some basic modeling task, such as create a package, create a diagram within the package before creating some new elements and connection on the diagram. In the exam, we will create a simple class model, uh, create a new package under the model root. So as here, click on the node project, from the design ribbon model. Create a, add a package. The new package diagram will open. Can enter a name for your new package. Create a package with a diagram or choose our model pattern to insert from the work through is we have the package only. So my package, just uh, use this one, then such as uh, my class model. So now let's use the samples. Click the OK. So now we have our the, this uh, UML use case model. We have our class model. We will create a class diagram with a new package. Click on the package. Choose right click, I believe, from the on design mode. Choose add from the design diagram here. Add our new diagram. Default name for diagram is same as his parent model. So diagram is this one, leave it in the type. The diagram type we will use select from UML structural. Okay, then this uh, true states. 
and choose the diagram type, diagram type class. Click OK. So we have this one. Now we got uh, numbers of those uh, class as the context. Diagram toolbar is now is a UML related relations and the class. My class uh, model is uh, here. How I can make this uh, portal not short? Let's go add elements. So let's now use the diagram toolbar to add some elements. Select the class element in the toolbar and click on the employee this empty. So now this one, class one. You can type new name, and I put class two as well. To create a relation, say simply select a relation. So let's uh, use which one? Generalist. Click the generalize relation on the diagram, drag a line from two from here, quick link to one. The relation that is create. So let's see. Generalization. Okay, so we create this and we can make them aligned. Add elements with a quick link. We briefly look at the quick link in Windows where we create links. Now we are going to use quick link to create new elements. So at the same time, create a new relation. In the diagram, click class one and click this. Right click and drag the quick link arrow to the right, releasing the mouse. Okay, perfect. In empty space, the action display a pop up uh, menu. You can choose a relation type, then a relation type, uh, element type. We choose a realization. Realization. This is the difference. So it's uh, under here. Just using the interface. Realization interface. So in in this version is uh, coming from relationship first, then this uh, category second. But uh, in my Version is a category first, then relation second. So possible is uh, can be configured. But when I drop this, it's the uh, same as uh, this uh, view. So you can create our new elements, interface element, at the same time when you create this relation. And then use perspective at our requirements model. So we. Enterprise architecture offer, uh, let me save on this. We now 
can build a simple requirements model. First, let's select one of the requirements uh, perspective. So from here, perspective requirements, requirements, requirements. Then we only have these uh, requirements parts. After we select this, create from pattern requirements. Here we can just select the basic requirements. First, we choose two level. We should choose where to this new content. Let's have this one. Click on the folder icon besides the add to. Here. At the bottom to the model and choose the model. Here, choose the model root, not class model. Let's choose here. So you need to go to the upper level. Now let's select pattern to level requirements hierarchy and click uh, create uh, model button. Now we have our requirements model. There's uh, multiple parts. So let me close this and uh, open the requirements diagram. Add our class, double click the diagram link in the project to open the diagram. You can see the select user control G by naming them, enter description or set, those we already know. We now add a simple class model to our project, follow our procedure similar to one we have just used. From the perspective, choose the AML. Now is we have a quick AML structure and create from pattern and we show this, click a basic class. Basic class with operation. Let's make that here. It's this one. Click the folder icon below to add to to choose the model root. So here and then create. We now have one basic class model. So let's close this. And if I double click that, it's this one. We have this uh, class model. And double click the diagram to show the model, the diagram. From the explore panel, choose the menu property feature. Property feature here. So we have the feature property now. The feature is coming here. Select the operation tag for this uh, window. Operation. Now click a class A. In the diagram, you will notice the as soon as the class is select, we already have some operation contents. Here you can modify existing operation. So, Operation A, Operation B, like this. So that, those are the operation we already defined. You can also use feature window to define new operation. So let's see. Operation C uh, is uh, maybe we see it is the float. Parameter uh, 
integer. We will define our operation C. We have also worked through with uh, some simple modeling already. So I see. So after we have those, uh, 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 we will have some customization of our workspace, change visual style. Uh, we already uh, have this. Uh, you can change this uh, from the star appearance. Not here. So I think it's on the layout appearance. Then from this uh, same. Our visual style here. Where is the visual style? No, star appearance visual style here. So that's the old face or oh, 29. I use 2019. So just uh, leave it for some major preference. You start by display preference on the here, preference, preference, and here. Oh, so I found this uh, this name. So now I change this the F my name here and the website default project. Okay, so I can close that. And the customer ribbon, so those I, I think is uh, putting things in their place. Alternatively, you can dock a window exactly where uh, you put. Use the workspace facility, workspace here. You do a lot of work on the diagram relation. Have reached end of the work. You might want to start your next work session by clicking up where you left. You can capture your current work status using the working set. Select star. O window. Where is the old window? Window set. I only see window set. Working set, work set. Working set. And a quick reference. Resource, and we can have this uh, sample model. I don't uh, open that for now. So I think it's uh, this is almost one hour, uh, but we already finish uh, quickly about these uh, trial versions. Uh, the per the project uh, we can save our uh, diagram, and uh, where is our model? Model is here. Uh, recent model and what is our working quick and the browser is our uh, project. So I think it's, uh, we can keep saving and then close project. Uh, when you close that in our file, I think it's only one uh, project file is left. So next time is uh, we can open this uh, file uh, as the project file. And the next one is so we will go to the light uh, edition uh, to to have some un understanding about uh, this uh, read only uh, means. Yeah, thank you for watching on this uh, live uh, demo. And I I think from this we have uh, a little familiar about uh, the user interface and some of the basic uh, modeling.
and especially those uh, uh, kind of the repository meaning. So you can u reuse uh, some diagram in different, uh, reuse some element in different diagram. Yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, talk later.